to see the cell live and to see how beautiful it is and how chaotic it is and how complex it is. It's, it's really awesome. Eric Betzig, recipient of the 2014 Nobel Prize in Chemistry, spoke at Portland State on May 14th. The Vanguard talked with him, and the first thing we had to know was, what's it like to win the Nobel Prize? It feels like getting hit by a bus, because, you know, you usually plan your life sort of, you know, weeks or months ahead. You kind of have this idea of what you're going to do, what deadlines you've set for yourself. And just like as if you got hit by a bus and you broke your leg and you're in traction somewhere, you know, everything that you had planned to do was out the window. Betzig also spoke about the future challenges of microscopy. Yeah, so uh, there's still a few, a few, well, many things. You know, always be trying to make better microscopes. The primary challenges that exist, I think, are one, um, uh, being able to see in deeply into living tissues without compromising the resolution or, or the uh, non-invasiveness. What biologists do when they do imaging is by fluorescence, that they tag the molecules they want with little reporters that will glow when they hit them with light. I have a love-hate relationship with fluorescence because it, it's very powerful because of all the molecular biology tools and all that. But it's also a pain in the neck because the fluorophores burn out and bleach. They perturb the physiology of the organism. So one of the holy grails is to do label-free imaging. And there are microscopes that can look at certain things label-free, but unfortunately not the broad class of proteins that you'd like to look at. So there's probably a Nobel Prize in for somebody if they can get label-free protein-specific contrast. And uh, being able to see many things at once, because there's 10,000 different types of proteins in a cell. And usually we look at them one or two at a time. But it would be amazing if we could look at them dozens at a time uh, in a living cell. We asked Betzig to speak about what motivates his work. Uh, yeah, so a, a few things. One is just the technical challenge. And, you know, it's kind of like a puzzle and you're presented with a problem and you just start, you know, doing this sort of combinatorical analysis in your head of, you know, what kind of different pieces from your knowledge base you can put together to try to solve that puzzle. Um, and so that that challenge of it, but then the result of being able to look at living things, I'll never be a biologist, just like I'm not a chemist, but to see the cell live and to see how beautiful it is and how chaotic it is and how complex it is, it's, it's really awesome. And, you know, I mean, with the tools we have now, um, it's egotistical to say it, but I really feel like Galileo or like Van Leeuwenhoek. I think we have tools that see life as nobody's seen it before. And every place we point it, we see a new discovery. This is Joseph Phoebus reporting for the Portland State Vanguard. <laughs>